Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Salamu alaikum. Magandang araw sa lahat. Buenos tardes. And of course, to all who are watching, good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm gonna make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. Today, we're gonna talk about the top 5 advanced modify commands a beginner should master. We already discussed most of the basic modify commands on my previous videos and also how to start drawings from scratch. You can access those videos on the link below. Let me also have a quick shout out to CAD Hand Studio where you can learn more AutoCAD commands from basic to advanced 2D and 3D drawings and JL Gumapi where you will also learn more about Revit drawings. Unlike the draw command where the object doesn't exist and you need to create a new one, modify commands will make some changes or modification in an existing object, whether to replicate it, resize it, or make it bigger or smaller, transfer it from one place to another, or simply get rid of it. Here we are going to discuss the top 5 advanced modify commands that you need if you like to be savvy in AutoCAD software, but before we start, Please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon to keep you updated on my latest uploads. Let's begin the countdown. On the fifth place is the Align tool. And from the sound of it, this will allow you to move the object with the proper alignment to the destination object. To illustrate, we have this set of tennis racket here, but as you can see, the handles are out of place and not only that, the other racket is too small and how to scale for this handle. To fix things up, we can use the Align tool. You can either click this Align tool icon under the Home tab Modify panel, or simply type the keyboard shortcut AL, Enter. Select objects, let's say this handle, Enter. Specify first source point. Source point is the key point on the side of the objects that you want to align. So let's say we wanted to align this side of the handle to this side of the racket. So the first source point will be this one, first destination point is this, second source point is this point of the side of the handle, to the second destination point, to this side of the racket. Enter. Align scale objects based on alignment points. By default, it is no, so just press enter. This is what will happen. You can also align and rescale or resize the object at the same time. Again on the command line, type AL, enter. Select objects, select this rocket, enter. Specify source point, same procedure as the previous ones. Pick this source point, first destination point, second source point, second destination point, enter. Align scale objects based on alignment points. This time, let's type Y for yes. This will allow you to make the source point bigger and align its size to the destination object. Enter. As you can see, this object not only align itself but also resize itself according to the size of the destination object. On the fourth place is the scale command. Scale allow you to reduce or enlarge the object keeping its proportion intact or undisturbed. You can access scale under this home tab modify panel or simply type the keyboard shortcut SC. Enter. Select objects, let's say this ball, enter, specify base point. Base point is the point where the center of the scaling or enlargement or reduction of the object will take place. If I pick this center of this ball as my base point, the resizing will be from this point as this. You can pick randomly anywhere on the screen, or as you can see on the command line, you can specify the scale factor. It is the factor in which you want the drawing to be enlarged and it is pretty much easy to understand. Like you can enter 2 if you want to double the size, 3 if you want to make it 3 times its original size, and so on. And if you want it to become smaller, you can type 0.5 to reduce it by half or 0.25 to reduce it by 75% or so on. This time, let's say 2 so the ball will become double its size. Another cool feature under the scale command is the scale reference. To illustrate, I want to make this rocket to be the same size as the handle. So type SC, enter, select object, select this rocket, enter, specify base point, pick this point of the object, 
And as you can see on the command line, there is two options called copy and reference. Type R for reference, enter. Specify reference length. We can define the reference length by picking this point. So in this case, let's pick these two points of the rocket. And as you move the mouse, you can see that the object is asking for the new length. And you can pick anywhere you want. Or let's pick this other endpoint of the handle. Now the object has a new scale according to the reference object that we defined. Another very useful modify tool is our third placer, and it is the array command. What this does is to multiply your objects with a certain arrangement that you are about to specify. To illustrate, I have these concrete steps, and I want to replicate more of this with two rows and to reach up to the other end of this loan. You can access the array command by clicking this array icon under the Home tab Modify panel or simply type AR, Enter. Select Object, select these concrete steps, Enter. Enter array type, rectangular, path, or polar. Let's type R for rectangular. And as you can see, the object will be replicated. As you highlight the object, you can see that there will be a different type of ribbon which is called contextual ribbon. You can control the design of this array by changing some values here according to your preferences. Like let's say, let's change the column into two. Or as you notice, there will be a rectangular grips on this array. You can click it and as you move the mouse, you will see that the array is replicating. You can manipulate further by experimenting these values according to your preferences. You can enter or pick this close array tool. Now let us try the polar array. You can either pick this pull down arrow under the array icon and you can see this polar array or simply type AR, enter. Select objects, let's select this chair, enter. Enter array type rectangular path or polar, PO for polar. Specify center point. Let's pick the center of this table. And as you notice, the chair will replicate itself in a circular path. And you can see there are still so many options on the command line. Let's try I for items. Enter. Let's try 7. And as you can see, 7 chairs will fit itself neatly on the table. Press enter to terminate the command. The second coolest advanced modify command is the N copy. NCOPY stands for nested copy and it's almost the same as the regular copy command that was discussed on previous videos except that NCOPY allows you to copy objects even if it is inside a block or an xref. To illustrate, I have here a file with an external reference as you can see here on the ribbon. And let's say you like to copy this text on this xref. Without NCOPY, what you usually need to do is to go outside and open this xref then copy the text. But you don't have to do this with ncopy. You can simply copy whatever you want in this extra file exactly just the way you want to do with the regular objects. So let's try. On the command line, type nco for ncopy. Enter. Select nested objects. Select this text. Enter. Specify base point. You can pick anywhere on the screen. And as you can see, you can copy these objects just like the regular objects. Before I go to number one and the most important thing, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon for future contents. On the number one advanced modify commands, and I think the coolest of all that a beginner should master is the mirror command. And from the sound of it, it will allow you to create a mirrored copy of an object. You can access the mirror tool by simply clicking this mirror icon on the home tab modify panel or simply type MI, enter. Select objects, select this window, enter. And as you can see on the command line, it will ask for a first point of a mirror line. Mirror line is the line where you want the object to be mirrored whether you want it horizontally, vertically, or diagonally depending on your design. And to define the mirror line, you need to pick the first point of the mirror line, let's say this point, and the second point of the mirror line, let's say this point. And as you can see, the new object exactly mirror or opposite of the original object will be created. 
erase source object? If you pick yes, the original object will be erased. Just pick no. Enter. You can mirror basically any objects like text, dimensions, hatches, blocks, lines, circles, etc. Type MI. Enter. Select objects. I'm doing the crossing selection. Enter. Specify first mirror point. Let's say this one. And second mirror line. Let's say this one. Enter. As you can see, all the objects that you selected will be mirrored. But you will notice that there is something wrong with this text. To fix this, change the value of the mirror text into zero. Let's try. I'm going to delete these objects and type mirror text. That would be M I double R T E X T. Enter. And change the value to zero. Then let's mirror again. M I. Enter. Select objects. Do the crossing selection. Specify first point of mirror line. Second point of mirror line. Enter. Now the text is more readable. So there you have the top 5 advanced modify commands that a beginner should master. If you like this video or you feel that the other things should be on top of the other, or if you have some further details to add that you think that I missed out, please let me hear on the comment section below. Thank you for watching and if you find this video useful, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and the bell icon as well to keep you updated on my next uploads. Stay at home and healthy, stay positive, and may the true God Jehovah bless us all.